So here we are. Kurt and I are together once again. <laughs> And we're watching the uh, deleted, basically the deleted first reel of Escape from New York, which uh, I've never seen. I've never seen one ounce of this. Yeah. We're running through the same titles that basically we have on the, uh, the version that we released in theaters. So uh, this was a an opening that we shot in, uh, well, several places. We shot in downtown LA, we shot, well, I'll talk about it as we see it, and then Atlanta, Georgia, the brand new subway that was there. That's where we started shooting the movie in Atlanta. I remember one great thing about this whole sequence was it was like, we had, we were, I know we were jammed against time and you had to move like lightning and that dolly broke down. <laughs> so we used the sound cart. Use the sound cart. <laughs> we got to go, guys, we have got to go. There was a long run too, I remember to be. I don't know if you, how much of that you got, but I remember I had a, a pretty good hike there on one of these. The fascinating thing about this, as we, we will see, is that uh, I'm not sure that this opening helps the movie at all, and I don't think it helps your character all that much. It softens him and makes him uh, more normal. Gives him too much reason. It does. Yeah, it doesn't have that, reason, that yeah. kind of uh, the kind of feel that we have now when we open the film. He walks in with attitude. He lives with attitude, and he, he, he exits with attitude. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. this actually humanizes him. Now, some people may say that's a good thing. That's, that's, that's not, not, not for This us. movie's not for them. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo. Larry J. Franco. <laughs> oh, man. How's he doing? He's doing great. He's doing, uh, you know what he's doing right now is Hulk. He gets all the big. Heavy, he does all these. That's what you did. The so you, you, you gave him all of that. <laughs> they keep looking at these pictures that you did for twelve and a half cents, and they say, "Boy, get that guy! He does big movies." <laughs> in 1988, the crime rate in the United States rises 400 percent. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. I love the music to Escape from New York. That's one of my favorite things oh, about thanks. the whole movie. I just thought you hit it, hit it on the nose with that. And so, it was different sounding music, too. Yeah, really in those days it was really strange. Music. So we're going to start in the, um, I can't remember where it's supposed <laughs> to be, but this is downtown Los Angeles. This is a robot that's saying the uh, national, uh, whatever, that you're stealing credit cards here. Those are used in uh, Israel to drag off terrorists That's now. correct. <laughs> uh, they have bombs Bomber. on them. So, um, so it's announcing that it's about to close and all the business people of the future are leaving, but there's one particular, ah, who is this down here? It's a maintenance man. Uh, wait a minute. I don't know who he is. We catch a glimpse of him. The robot makes an announcement. I'm not I sure. I don't remember any of this. I don't, I don't even. This is, this is amazing. And there goes the uh, maintenance man walking away. We used a big, long Panaglide shot and uh, follow this maintenance man as he... Now, that Panaglide was fairly new at the time, too. You don't use that in Halloween, right? No, We've used wasn't... it in Halloween, yeah. and uh, it was very new. This was a Panaglide, which is, as you can see, it kind of rocking because we're turning corners and so forth. And now, who is this mysterious figure that... You don't remember shooting this? I do not. It's, it's amazing. I could take a lie detector test right now and pass it. I have no recollection of this. But that's what Alzheimer's does. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice long uh, uh, sequence. I don't know what it would do for us other than show off the fact that we can do it in one shot. But. Huh. So this is, yeah, this, I, I mean, I remember, what this, I, remember, I remember reading this stuff. Elevator. He puts in, I don't know what the hell that yeah, is, but it opens Somebody in. else doing a hand insert. I don't remember this. And, uh, and that's you. Oh, that's me. That's you. Oh, this dude. is this is scary. And he takes off his uh, stuff, and now we reveal that oh, there's somebody else underneath here. Can we get a little? Oh yeah. 
do rag on there. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it opens now. We are actually on the uh, one of our locations. Oh yeah, this was out in in uh, what is it? Yeah, senior uh, Valley what was the name of that place? It's a famous. Uh, Thank you very much, Indian, yeah, Indian Dunes. Dunes. Thank you very That's much, right. Indian Dunes. And now we are in Atlanta <laughs> with a shopping cart. Actually, we were in it with a sound cart, and that's uh, this move right here was uh, actually not bad. You're on the sound cart now because huh? the dolly broke down. That's now not bad. start running, that's not Snake. Bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, wait, this was uh, just it just opened and uh, was the. Ah, uh, this was a pretty long run. This I remember. Yeah. Do this about yeah. eight times. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good there. Looking good. <laughs> Baseball picking day up, still picking with up you. speed here. Up and over. Can't do that anymore. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there's this a bit of running in Atlanta. That was that wasn't open yet. No, I don't believe it was. I believe we were uh, we were using it before it was open. Yep. Down. That was a whole new thing then. That. The and this is a Joe Unger, up. the man who was cut out. In comes the. Uh, I don't understand why there would be a subway system under the entire United States in the future. I, I don't really get that. I think it was a way to... Still nuclear fallout, huh? Uh, maybe. I don't nuclear know. Waste. Maybe it was a cheap way to, <laughs> <laughs> to be spectacular. We didn't have a whole lot of money on this movie. Well, yes. there wasn't anything like this. This was kind of fresh looking at that time, too. I mean, this... It was. I remember seeing it was a little bit different. This was futuristic, you know? But look at the colors. Oh, yeah. Now we're off and running, and we actually yeah, made the these. Uh, we we did this uh, sequence moving. I mean, you were, you guys were going, uh, riding back and forth. As I remember, maybe we were still here. I can't recall. I remember. I can't remember that. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I remember this dialogue now. Yeah. Looking kind of buff there, dude. I, I was in Looking shape. Buff. No, I was doing the best I could. Looking buff. <laughs> we got our our, There's our cards. cards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Jesus, mate! Look at this, man. Well, it was kind of establishing a future too. I mean, it was. You know, I can it see where you got everybody. Everybody credit cards, everything. There mm -hmm. are, is no cash anymore. But it wasn't establishing a, a future with spaceships necessarily. It was establishing a future that we kind of recognize. I do know, remember when we ways. were shooting this scene. We did three takes of something over here, and you and I had only talked about Snake Plissken and what we kind of envisioned and this and that. We did three three takes of one thing, and you came over and you said. This character's gonna work. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> so this character's gonna work. Took you three takes. He said, "This is gonna work. Stay with that." <laughs> Here we are. Now we've supposedly landed in uh, San Francisco. I believe is your your destination. destination yeah. This is this is much. Uh, much more than I remembered. I oh mean, yeah, God, we, there's we a sequence. A we did a little sequence here. This is 12 minutes altogether. Well, it's a reel, I believe. It's the first wow. reel, as I recall, probably 10. Beautiful uh, Dean Cundy uh, shooting there. He's just a great cameraman. Just a great cameraman. But it was, yeah. He was. Uh, doesn't he have a limp? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he has a limp, huh? and he's like, who would who would shoot a guy with a limp? No, <laughs> that's it. And we're showing you the expanse of our production design, which there is... There we go, Joe Al's. Yeah. <laughs> which is... Again, where, 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 where was this done? I remember, this was Atlanta. The same, the same place. This is, the, this is the peach tree. Say it again, Deborah. Deborah's in our ear. Deborah's <laughs> going to pretend like she's not here. <laughs> That's Deborah she's in our earphones, watching. you guys. <laughs> peach tree plaza. Peach tree plaza. <laughs> oh, yeah. And here's the famous uh, uh, sequence where the squibs did not work. <laughs> Over and over and over. Oh, oh, oh. got him. Yeah. Here come the evil police. And this was a this was a panic line. See, the idea here was too that Snake could go. He could make it. Yep. Or go back and get his buddy. That's correct. So the, 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 all the, things is. <laughs> I don't want him to be like that. Well, <laughs> you know what? The audience. We showed it to a small group of people, and the audience said. We couldn't understand what was going on until uh, we got to the prison, and then the whole world made sense. Ah, uh, well, I think they were right. <laughs> and so I quickly just dropped this. Now here's your uh, humanity. Yeah. See? Yeah. No. Huh? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. You got to shoot these things sometimes <laughs> to find out you just don't want them. <laughs> yeah, but what's, what's interesting about this is that when they do get him here, what it does is set his. It gives him a mindset. Uh huh. 
It does that. That, that you then yeah. understand him, which is it's better to not understand him. So now he's <laughs> trying to drop the bag and. Oh, it's terrible. What happens here? It's just he's terrible. Got, he's got a whole violence. lot of Hershey's going on there. Whoa, a little more. Yikes. This violence in media. We have to stop this somehow. Ouch. <laughs> it's polluting our children. Uh, you could have made it, Snake, but you came back to watch him get shot. And so we're coming to the end of this. This is the famous legendary opening scene. Actually, we did a, an optical here. As you can see, it's going to fade out, and the grainy quality there. And we now we would move on, if we kept this in, to the prison. And we would have our first shot of it. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's a good trim. <laughs>